Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? What's up guys, my name is the Kiwi Dragon, and I'm back again today to talk about the data mine of the 8th Grand Prix season, courtesy of Beta M. Before I begin, I'd like to quickly address my absence from YouTube. I've had a great time producing these videos over the last few months, but when December hit, unfortunately, I had no time to make new content. I really tried, but I just couldn't. Not at all because I'm burnt out on CTR or anything, not at all, but more because Christmas is a stressful time for all of us, and I had some additional stress. I recently moved cities and headed to a city six hours north of where I used to live. So two days after Christmas, I was on the road with my partner moving our belongings and our three cats into our new home. So as a result, I wasn't able to make any new content ahead of or during the Winter Festival Grand Prix. However, now we're all settled in, I have a few ideas of what I'd like to do in terms of ideas for videos moving forward, and may even look into the possibility of streaming if anyone is interested in watching. Now we've got the general housekeeping out of the way though, let's get into the new details of this data mine and see if we can discuss a few things and maybe even make some predictions on the missing information from the data mine. This data mine was conducted two days ago in a live stream by Beta M, and it's been a sigh of relief for some people as they were theorising that Rustland would be the final Grand Prix, especially as no new quarterly roadmap has been revealed. But this data mine indeed confirms that Rustland is not the last Grand Prix. However, we don't have a lot of details from this data mine information, so let's go over it bit by bit and try to guess what's going on for the bits that we don't have any information for. So first of all, Season 8's track is codenamed T508 underscore Toxic. This could literally mean anything, as Gingerbread Joyride was codenamed Luminous when the Neon Circus was data mined, and when the Winter Festival was data mined, the track we now know as Megamix Mania was codenamed Dry Land. At this point, I fully believe the other theories I've seen on Reddit and Discord saying that this track will likely be based on Gasmoxia, aka Nitrous Oxide's homeworld, a place we haven't visited since Crash Bash in 2000, where you face Nitrous Oxide in a boss battle based on the Ballistics minigame. It appears we may only be getting one brand new character again, just like how we only got Megamix in the current Rustland Grand Prix. But the new driver's name has not yet been revealed, and is just codenamed Driver Joe. No, that's not Komodo Joe, or Joe Blow, but there is no hints as to who this character is beyond a sticker that was uncovered, but I'll get to that in just a second. Some Season 8 stickers were uncovered, depicting weird mutant hamburgers and mutant pizzas. These things look absolutely bizarre, and seem like they belong in Cuphead and not Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. There was also a weird kind of emblem. I think you might actually know what this emblem might mean though, as well as a few other stickers tied to some of the characters appearing in this Grand Prix. One of those stickers is a portrait tied to the new character for this Grand Prix supposedly, which of course by now you're probably aware is Emperor Velo the 27th, or as we know him, Fake Velo. Yes, Fake Velo is apparently coming to CTR at long last. And being that this might be a space based Grand Prix, it makes total sense and is absolutely awesome. Also, can we just talk about how Velo might just be the 51st character to be added? If he is, that's pretty clever on Beanox's part there, seemingly referencing Area 51, you know, because aliens and all that. But honestly, it is absolutely great to know that Velo will be back and his inclusion will complete the list of playable characters missing from Nitro Field, as both he and Megamix were the two final characters that were playable still remaining to be added to Nitro Field. Megamix, of course, was playable in Crash Bandicoot 2 Entrance multiplayer mode as an unlockable character when paired up with Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. And, of course, Fake Velo was playable on the Game Boy Advance version of Crash Nitro Kart. I just hope they can get Steve Bloom to reprise his role, as everyone seems to remember Fake Velo's big booming voice from the cutscenes of Crash Nitro Kart, and I'm unsure anyone else would be able to do it justice. It seems he's interested according to a tweet from a day or so ago, but maybe he's missed his chance. Surely these voiceover lines would have had to have been recorded ages ago. So maybe they got Andre Sogliuzzo, who voiced real Velo, to do fake Velo as well. That is, of course, unless Steve Bloom is just trolling us and making it seem that he hasn't, especially as whoever would be voicing him would likely have signed a non-disclosure agreement. We'll have to wait until February to see who the voice of fake Velo really is. Moving on now, the character who is listed under the codename Driver Who Am I from the data mine for Rustland has been replaced in this data mine by Driver Who Can I Be. At this point, I feel at a loss to guess who these are talking about. 
Personally, my theory is that they are referencing the same character. But who is it? Is it Viscount, Madame Amberley, Evil Crash, Bearminator, Mr. Crumb, Farmer Ernest, Willy friggin' Wampa Cheeks? There are no clues as to who it is yet, but I feel like it's hinting at a big character who the fandom all want to be included in the game. But who is left that the fandom really wants to see in CTR? We'll have to wait and see if this mystery character appears in the 8th Grand Prix, or if they'll keep hinting at this mystery character in future data mines. Moving on now, and we have the list of characters who are getting new legendary skins in this next Grand Prix, and they are as follows. Amy, Liz, Megumi, Isabella, Torna, King Chicken, Koala Kong, Nitrous Brio, Spyro, and Driver Joe. Looking at these, I'm really pleased to see that we don't have any new skins for Crash Coco or Cortex, as while I love those characters, they've had way too many skins, while some of the other characters in the game keep getting passed over for new skins. <coughs> Geary. I am particularly excited to see that we get new skins for King Chicken, Koala Kong, Embryo and Spyro. I am aware that Kong and Spyro got legendary skins in the Neon Circus and Winter Festival Grands Prix respectively, but I am actually really happy to see them get more love in this upcoming Grand Prix. But for me, the two biggest highlights of that list of who is getting new skins are Brio and King Chicken. Those two getting new skins, that's absolutely awesome. These two characters just deserve more love in general. Brio hasn't had a legendary skin whatsoever, and King Chicken has been exceptionally well received by the community, so it's awesome to see him get a new skin. We also get a new skin for Driver Joe. So this confirms Driver Joe is the main character of the 8th Grand Prix, and I believe Driver Joe is of course Fake Velo at this point so Fake Velo appears to get some kind of legendary skin. However, as I mentioned before, we still have no skin for Geary. Poor guy has been snubbed from eight Grand Prix now. So please, Beanox, can you give him a skin? I implore you, please. You have one sad little robot sitting in the corner over there who has no legendary skins. Yes, Hunter, Nasty, Mo, Pasadena, Von Clutch, Rillaroo, Yaya, Chicken Stew don't have legendary skins yet. But Geary has been available since day one. Pinstripe also hasn't had a new legendary skin since launch, but he's had a legendary skin. So while I am a bit concerned about that, I'm not nearly as worried about the love for Pinstripe as I am concerned about the love for Geary. Now that I have my highly impassioned plea to Beanox to get Geary a new skin out of the way, let's go over the characters who are getting skins and see if we can guess which character is getting what skin. So first of all, these are the ideas that I have floating in my head. Astronaut Amy, Astronaut Isabella, Astronaut Liz, Astronaut Megumi, Astronaut Torna, Space King Chicken, Space Ranger Koala Kong, Alien Embryo, Gasmoxian Spyro, and Endoskeleton Fake Velo. So I'll go over these skins now, uh, starting with the Nitro Squad skins. So usually the Nitro Squad have had pretty similar skins. If you need an example of this, see the Motorsport skins, which all five of them got in the Nitro Tour Grand Prix in July last year. I think astronaut skins could be great for the girls and they could be styled differently, kind of like how the Circus skins were all different for Amy, Isabel, Liz and Megumi, but they were still known as Circus skins. Next on my list is King Chicken, who I think will have a sort of bizarre space variation, likely wearing one of those retro space helmets. You know the ones, they sort of look like a fish bowl on your head, like a bubble. And this sort of lines up with a sticker that was data mined showing a green chicken with purple eyelids in a retro looking space helmet. So I think this is how King Chicken will look in the next Grand Prix. If you need a bit of a reference for how he'll look, Please forgive this exceptionally low quality artist rendering by yours truly. Koala Kong is another one who gets a sticker this season, and it looks like some kind of logo for a space army featuring his face below the rim of a planet, which is in a rainbow pattern. So I'm thinking maybe he's like a member of a space army, so I theorise he'd be a space ranger in a sort of armoured suit. If you don't get what I'm putting across, think of Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, now slap Koala Kong's face on it. Yeah, like that. 
I think that'd be a really good fit for Koala Kong, as he'd be able to jet around above the podium, then land and flex his muscles. Sort of like an evil version of Robotic Crunch, who was part of the Nitrous Oxide edition of CTR Nitro Fuel. So, Brio kind of already had a sort of alien looking skin in the form of Envader Embryo. But I feel like an actual alien redesign, think your typical little green man type of alien, could be a great fit for Embryo. There's not much else really I could really suggest about Brio though, so this one, sorry, is kind of a bit lame and I don't really have anything to reference with it. Next up we have Spyro, and honestly this one was even harder, I couldn't even think of what skin Spyro could even get. So I thought, what if he got a Gasmoxian redesign? I was thinking sort of like how, if you're a Pokemon fan, you'll be aware of Pokemon getting Galarian forms or getting Alolan forms. So I thought, what about a Gasmoxian form Spyro, where he'd be green and rather disgusting to look at, and sort of would be using Zem and Zam for inspiration. I'd expect him to look all slimy and gross, but yeah, Spyro and Brio were the hardest ones to suggest skin theories for in this season. And finally, a skin for Driver Joe, or fake Velo as we all seem to believe. What would this skin be? I think it would be Endoskeleton Fake Velo. If you remember the ending to Crash Nitro Kart, Velo is revealed to be a robot housing a smaller creature, aka real Velo. My theory is that this legendary skin would be him without the green fleshy skin and in fact would be this fake Velo endoskeleton. Similar looking to fake Velo but all metallic with glowing red eyes. Think if fake Velo was a Terminator. That's what I'm going for right here. Moving on now from the skins and onto the carts. We have three new carts which are codenamed Cart BLO, Cart GRN and Cart MTA. Unfortunately, I have no idea what any of these are supposed to be. I tried to see if any of the abbreviations line up with any of the previous carts from Crash Tag Team Racing, but found nothing. Also, if Velo is in this Grand Prix, then no doubt we can guess that one of these three mystery carts is Velo's hover bike from CNK. I could be entirely wrong on that, I'm just theorising at this point. I also would like to see something in this new Grand Prix, because I thought, what if maybe some or all the new vehicles are hovering carts, as we're possibly going to be on a, another planet, or possibly even in space for some parts of this track. So I thought, what about giving some, if not all, of the past hovering vehicles a nitro boost this season? It probably won't happen, it's just a thought, but hey, we'll have to hope some more information comes out soon about these new vehicles though, because I have no idea about what any of them are, but I'm going to guess one of them is at least Velo's Hoverbike. We also got some new details on a new promotional cart which was referenced in the Rustland Grand Prix data mine. It was previously known as Cart Limited 4, but is now called Xfinity or Xfinity Blitz and has the icon of a sports car. Unfortunately there are no images of this, but from what I've seen on Google, Xfinity is a digital cable TV, internet and phone provider in the United States. So presumably this will be another cart situation similar to the Cove Cruiser from the Trident Gum and Sour Patch Kids promotional packs. I did try to look on Google to see if Xfinity Blitz might mean something, but I couldn't see anything about it. And finally, the wheels for this season are codenamed BAP. Yeah, I've got no idea either. So I'm kind of just hoping for some big, weird, space-looking wheels. Maybe they're moons or something with some stars floating around or something like that with glowing effects. I I'm really hard-pressed to suggest ones here, but I'm just kind of hoping for something weird and wacky, especially after the ones we got in December where they were all cakes and desserts, which were pretty interesting to say the least, but made me exceptionally hungry. All in all, I was pretty excited for the Rustland Grand Prix, but now reading over this, I'm probably just a little bit more excited for Season 8. I just hope it doesn't underwhelm like Season 8 of another beloved property did. <coughs> Game of Thrones! <coughs> but that's all for the video today. Let me know if you're excited for the 8th Grand Prix in the comments below, and tell me your thoughts and theories. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, family and your favourite gaming communities, and please don't forget to subscribe so you can be informed when future videos come out from me. I've been the Kiwi Dragon, and until next time, bye bye.